everyone, welcome back. Keith, KF Canyon Ranch BMW i8 salvage project. So today I'm going to show you how I'm actually sectioning apart the carbon fiber panels so I can reuse them and the tools I'm using. Earlier on I was experimenting with some seam breaker bars and the cordless tools and just found that they weren't sufficient. So what I've settled on is a cordlet, a corded oscillating tool and that comes with various blades. I like the carbide metal and more blades. I've tried wood blades, they're just not holding up. So I'll section apart with the carbide blades and then I'll do some final sanding with the same oscillating tool with a sanding pad on it. And then they've also got a scraper blade that I'll scrape off some of the epoxy with. When I'm working on projects like this, I wear something to stop the dust from going in my mouth. I like to wear gloves and I like to use some hearing protection and of course safety glasses. For this brief demonstration I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. Just know that that's the safety equipment I like to use when I'm working on the project also. Let's get to cutting apart a seam. Now you can see this is a slow time consuming job. Some of the important things are to keep that blade nice and flat against the carbon fiber. You get your angle off one way or another and you're not cutting the bonding compound apart, you're cutting through the carbon fiber. And that's the last thing you want to do if you need to reuse that panel. If this panel is sacrificial, you can just grind it down with a, a grinding tool and then scrape off the final epoxy and prep the receiving surface. But if you plan on reusing that panel, you gotta make sure you're cutting just the joint apart. So let me show you a piece that I've already sectioned off. This goes on the bulkhead behind the rear seat pan area. You can see I've already sectioned it off and this is what that epoxy looks like after you cut it apart. It kinda cuts and kinda melts at the same time. So what I like to do to get that cleaned up, I'll switch out blades, put on the scraping blade and I'll show you how this works. So you can see that takes a little time also. So after I've done that, I'll change out blades again, get to my sanding blade and we'll do a little sanding. So the idea is to get all that scraped down and all of it sanded without cutting into the carbon fiber too much. Let me grab another piece that's finished up and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the same part that I've already got prepped. You can see I've got it all scraped down, sanded down, and it's got a little bit of scratch for that epoxy to bite into. This piece is ready to go into the car. I'll do a final wipe with some isopropyl alcohol, let it dry, and then this piece will get bonded into place. The receiving surface gets the same treatment. Gets sectioned off, gets the bonding epoxy scraped off, it gets a light sanding just to give a little bit of scratch without cutting too much into that carbon fiber. And then it gets that isopropyl alcohol wiped down and then bonded together with that Permabond ET5429. That's that slow cure two-part epoxy perfectly suited for this carbon fiber. So that's it for today. That's pretty much how I've been sectioning it apart. You can see it's a slow time consuming process. You just have to take it nice and easy and make sure you do quality work so that those panels can be reused. As far as I know, Nobody's reused these carbon fiber panels on the BMW before, so it's kind of a first. And I got to tell you, some of it I'm just kind of figuring out as I go along. But I've had a lot of good insight from some of the channel watchers, some of the viewers there, and I appreciate all the input. If you get questions, send it to me in the message below. And please like and subscribe. Click that little bell for notifications so you know when I send out another video. We'll see you soon. Take care.